Hi friends and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to paint from a photo. I will be sharing with you my process of how I observe a photo and decide on how to paint it in watercolor. Here's a photo that I'm going to paint in this video. It's from Alexandra in Unsplash. If you want to use this photo, you may download it on the link in the description box below. For this painting, I'll be using four colors, which are M. Graham Neutral Tint, Burnt Sienna, Gamboge, and Cobalt Blue. Knowing that watercolor is a transparent medium, take note that in painting, you need to start from brightest to darkest. And in perspective, we paint the background first and slowly build up the composition layer by layer, painting the foreground last. And as you can see, I am painting the sky first, deliberately leaving out the areas that are going to be the clouds. The clouds as you can see from the photo aren't that prominent, so I keep blending the blue onto the paper. And here, using the same color, I am painting the water reflecting the sky. While the paper hasn't dried up yet, I added gamboge using another clean brush so I don't produce green color. I'm carefully brushing over the yellow, mostly on the white areas where the clouds are reflecting the sunrise. Looking at the photo, I am following where the yellow tones are, which is right at the horizon and I'm establishing the base layer for that. So to explain further, when I look at the photo, I stripped off the elements to determine the base layer. In this painting, I'm stripping off the misty mountain behind, then the one in the middle with the three pine trees, and finally the foliage at the foreground. That leaves me with the sky and the water that we are painting now. After letting the base layer dry, we moved on to the next layer which is the misty mountain behind. This is the farthest object in the composition. Using a wet on dry technique, I slowly tap my brush onto the paper, then I blend the paint afterwards with a clean wet brush to spread the pigments. This will give the misty effect that we see in the photo. Then looking at the reference photo, I slowly built the tones from the brightest golden yellow to the darkest with burnt sienna and a touch of neutral tint here and there. And of course, the fun part to give the moody landscape, I sprayed clear water and tilt the paper to spread the pigments more. Now we have more misty feel going on. Then here, I wet the water area and painted the reflection. I'm painting just to mark the area first and as a guide to the main horizon later on. When painting, I don't really go for the exact replica of the photo, I just go with how I perceive the whole composition. And here, I'm spraying water again to help the pigment spread. It gives a very nice moody feel. For the bottom, I painted a bit more ripple in the water by having curved strokes and blending the strokes to have a soft feel. Thank you. 
Then I added a bit of yellow from the sky reflection and again, careful enough not to produce green color. And for the last layer of the composition, I am painting the nearer horizon starting with a pine tree. I'm using a wet and dry technique for this and I'm more attentive to the detail as this is the focal point in the composition. It is a misty landscape and therefore I did the same blending of the bottom like the previous layer. Then after completing the piece of land, I intensified the horizon more, added more details were needed too. And for the last step, I intensified the reflections further by painting a somewhat zigzag strokes. It's very random but following the placement of the pine trees. Then I blend the reflections more and further added more details and decided that I was done with the painting. There you have it, this is the completed painting and I do hope that you find this helpful in your painting studies. Do let me know if you have any more questions or suggestions and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Happy painting!